So today we have an amazing add-on here called Area of Sight Duty. It creates an area of sight for your game and it's amazing. It got a bunch of customization, it suspects collision and a bunch more features. So let's just install it and then I'll show you all the features. To install just go to the Godot's asset store then download this add-on and now you can just go to the extracted file and open it. You can now copy this add-ons folder inside this. Now go to open up go maybe and now go to the project files. Here I have another folder. You can delete it. You don't have a, a folder by default. You paste the folder that you copied. Now if you open up this folder you can actually put other add-ons in this folder too. So you don't have to delete it. You can keep multiple add-ons if you want. To enable this add-on, you have to actually go to the Kido editor. So let's just open up Kido first now. Okay. So in the Kido editor, we'll just go to the project settings, plugins, and enable it here. Sometimes it's not enabled by default, so you have to enable it. For the features, it's an amazing add-on. Now, if you go to run this, and you can just explore this demo here, and you can see that it also gives some prints here and changes the color too so these enemies just follow a path and you just if you enter the area the the things go red it's really amazing and you got a bunch of customization too now if you go to the enemy scene here uh, let's see this area of site 2d node here you can add it through the node editor now we got some signals on entered and on exit function now now if you go to the inspector here, you can see we got a bunch of parameters here, area, radius and the number of rays. Uh, and also if you go to the uh, player scene here, uh, it got an agent here. This is the node that the area of sight 2D node actually detects, so it doesn't care about other things. Uh, you uh, provide it with a parent and then it detects its thing. Also, you can just go to the the enemy node here, and uh, here you can see that uh, we actually check for the player's group. I think groups are pretty easy to use. I don't know why people say that it's hard. In the signal here, so I can just like implement any logic I want. Uh, here we just change the colors a bit, we print some stuff. Uh, so it's pretty normal thing, basic program here. Uh, if you go to the player's script here, uh, it's something here, something interesting here. We can actually make the player kind of invisible to the enemies. We do this by changing the layer mask here. So if we run this, uh, you can see I can press space to get invisible and now no one can see me. And uh, if I want, I can just become visible again and invisible anytime I want. Uh, you can just change the layer mask to do this. It's pretty cool and uh, i think it's a really cool feature you remember those games like you you have a thief and there and it kills some soldiers and stuff you, like you can create that kind of game in like minutes uh, let me know if you want a tutorial on that kind of game i'll just make it and uh, now let's explore other features here now if you go to the player scene here you can see the here we have a bunch of, of options here i kind of i found them pretty useless but i think they might have some kind of use uh, now uh, there is a really cool feature here uh, if you go to the agent here and you can just assign the layer masks down there you can see that and uh, in the player uh, here are the masks that that you set up and you can tell about the agent's mask and uh, it will detect the agent it's a pretty cool idea and it's amazing. You can change the layer masks to make it invisible and visible. That feature that we exposed just now. Also, you can just assign a texture to the area if you want it to make it visible in your game for some reason. Like it, now it just makes it fade as far you go and we assign the color in code. But it's, it's pretty amazing. You can create a bunch of other kind of features too. So I think that's kind of it for this add-on it's pretty simple a small little add-on but it's kind of useful you can make games in minutes like enemies it's so easy now 
Hey, I have a little interest quest here. Uh, you can find an epidemic sound referral link in the description. If you are interested in the service, you can join by my referral link. Uh, it's just a little gesture you can make to help me out. Uh, thank you all for watching and you can support me on Patreon. You can just join by as low as $1. Um, thank you all for your all your support on the videos that I've been getting. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you.